And we have ourselves a match, ladies and gentlemen. Carolyn Garcia, the French woman, Bonjour Como Tele Vu, taking on Wong, former junior number one. This is Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. We're going three. Get your popcorn, buckle your seatbelts. We're in for a ride. Now, Wong's not having a pretty good year, guys. No, she's not. She's eight and ten. She's having a losing season, guys, but she's still ranked. She's still ranked 64 on tour now. She's got about half of the clay wins that Carolyn Garcia has for her career. And Garcia's been on tour a lot longer than Wong. That is correct. Carolyn Garcia, 22 and 11. Last year, she didn't really do much here at the French Open. She did make it to the second round after defeating Taylor Townsend. But Maddie Patty, Madison Keys, would send her home. If she can make the third or fourth fifth round possibly look being having the home crowd backing her she'll pick up some points because remember guys she didn't really turn things on until grass season last year where we saw her that's when she started winning titles and then she even went back snatched up a clay championship and egas fiantek's backyard but listen guys wong losing season this would be a huge win if she can get it done and again she didn't do much here last year she didn't make it to the second round she took out han in the first round but laura sigmund the veteran would take her out 6363 this match guys the stats don't really tell what's happening in this match because listen carolyn garcia in the second set even though she lost the second set she won 83 percent of her first serve points 10 for 12 it's the second serve, though, that Wong is attacking. Wong's won, she won 77% of her first serve points in that second set. But Wong is winning 54% of Carolyn Garcia's second serve. And in terms of break points, not really many. Now, Carolyn Garcia did have two opportunities to break Wong in that second set. She couldn't do it. Wong only needed one, and that forces a third set. Get your popcorn, buckle your seatbelts. We're in for a ride.